Hello everybody, welcome back to German Auto House. Here we specialize on supercar, supercar repair and performance. Ring that bell, turn on notification and subscribe to our channel to get more cool infos. And today we start work on, like I usually say, beautiful Lamborghini Aventador SV. The car came for, for clutch replacement and we want to show you guys how to do how to bleed system how to do all adaptation and of course the mechanical side for that replacement this is the job took about a 45 hour for pull engine and transmission out reassembly three rent and here is the clutch here is the new clutch we have a new clutch we have a new truss bearing and a travel sensor this is our plan for this week because it's really big job and let's turn down this car well before you do anything with the high power voltage you need to disconnect the battery and remove this positive cable and socket connector because easy to shot you guys it's really easy yeah now you can see the capacitor is disconnected and discharged by official tools or Leonardo and the power disconnected now we can work and pull out the engine little update on Aventador you can see how the car looks now exhaust a lot of plastic parts bumper uh, reflection bar and now we need to remove the oil tank then air filter housing left and right air box whatever you can you call it and the suspension one this is the uh, struts and here is the let's say bracket big bracket and then we have more access to the to the engine and then we can pull the engine out i think we keep all this stuff inside like an alternator and ac but by the way we recharge uh, discharge the AC and we uh, drain fluids from engine uh, coolant well you can see we already prepared before the engine removal harness pipes everything and now it's time to remove this guy from Aventador Like you see, the engine is out. This is our super table. If not the table, we can pull this engine out. Hopefully, tomorrow we try to install this engine back. The gearbox is here on stripes, and now it's time for remove the clutch, clean everything around, install the new clutch pack torque the bolts and replace this guy too this guy and travel sensor right there okay let's start first replace and remove the clutch okay guys truss bearing is new travel sensor is new new gasket everything is new retorque and you can see the old one it's like see how it's how is bad that one and of course crazy sound grease everywhere and new clutch pack everything torque by specification flywheel the this unit clutch unit now it's time to install transmission back to the engine 
and it's colon of course everybody know it's colon marriage okay let's install everything back okay almost prepared before fire up we feel engine oil uh, coolant still just to check the vacuum everything is hot vacuum about like 10 15 minutes is good uh, now is our goal to bleed the system i mean you guys easy to pull engine out you can easy install but i think it's more important things it's bleeding procedure and all adaptation for this gearbox and for this clutch replacement now uh here is the cl clutch bleeder screw right there firewall and engine close to the intake manifold we'll, uh, we open this uh this valve is already open it and what we need to do we need to now it's just like simple battery is connected we open the door the pump is start pumping uh make build the pressure and uh after we see the fluid is coming we just uh, close the valve and then we need to fill the reservoir with the fluid then we have to calibrate the gears because the system is empty we have to bleed the gear and that uh, shifting unit and then bleed the clutch again and then we can fire up and do uh, adaptation okay Alex uh, the valve is open right yeah let me open the door yeah okay Alex check the pressure See? See? The green one? Sure. That's it. You can see the, the green pentacin. It's already. Now I would like to say the clutch is bleed. But anyway, we wanna rebleed one more time to make sure no any bubble. But the fluid is clean. Um, it's really important to add that fluid because it's a not uh, big capacity of the fluid. This is like like you can see our previous vlog about the uh, Aventador gearbox like issue. This is uh, Pentacin 202 hydraulic fluid. Okay, now we just need to add it uh, fluid and then possible to fire up. Just like I said, CHF 202 and. Here is the filling plug. Here is the level plug. When you can see the overflow, let's like Alex, can you help me, please? See? See? Because we already adjust the level, we added like a 300 grams after that bleeding. Sorry for the truck. <laughs> yeah, now it's just like dripping. And it should be good. Of course, we will check, check the level after we do all adapt adaptation procedure for the gears. We want to make sure the level is good, but now, yeah, now we actually can fire up. Okay, time to fire up this guy. Uh, we feel 8 liters of engine oil. Normally, it's like 11, 11, 12, but now just for fire up, we are good. Okay, Alex, let's go fire up. Let me check if everything is good. We just fire up for like about the 10 15 seconds because we're out of coolant uh, No leaks, everything is good for now. What we need to do, and now just like need to refill fluids, adjust the level of engine oil and AC recharge, and then more procedure. Okay, guys, now it's time to do adaptation procedure. Uh, battery is connected. Uh, Leonardo 2, now we are in parameter. This is the clutch wear percentage now uh, for. 0.8 millimeter or oh, a uh, seven millimeter it's a zero okay we just check parameters then deactivate uh, adaptation uh, 
yes reset ok start this procedure must be used only when the clutch is changed on a vehicle reset clutch where reset counter acetated blah 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 we just replace the clutch ok you want to perform basic setting yes now let's check and find parameter selection present clutch wear ok 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 uh, we going back to parameters and we need to check these parameters see zero now we reset clutch measurement ok uh, time for one more adaptation we have to uh, do the gear adaptation after clutch replacement and after bleeding this is it's really important things yes okay yes one more time yes Like I said, it's a start shifting gear. And calibrate the travel sensor. Now it's just like we need to wait until this uh, adaptation is uh, successful. Okay, now it's procedure successful. Okay, time to go into test drive. Everything looks good. Uh, we don't want to uh, install everything back like a trunk lid because we want to uh, check and make sure no any leaks. We have a uh, the belly belly cover not in installed because we want to check one more after few drive. We want to check one more. Uh, hydraulic fluid level for the e-gear adjust the fluids like a coolant engine oil and it should be ready to go well guys now it's test drive time to check how the clutch be more interested in automatic mode to 300 miles in normal mode without any heavy acceleration and of course without the launch start to completely finish uh, surface procedure for the new clutch this car is completely done no any problem no any fluid leaks and of course before we return this car to customer we would like to check again and make sure like I said no any issue at all if you like our channel please subscribe ring that bell and you not miss any future vlog about car repair and performance